Rally bikes are easily some of the fastest dirt bikes on the planet. And one of the fastest rally bikes we could get our greedy hands on is Quinn Cody's 2016 Sonora Rally winning KTM 450 XCF. So, we jumped at the chance to meet Quinn in the Mojave Desert and test his race machine in full rally trim. Just for fun, we stuck around as he pulled off his rally kit and set it back to a more normal dirt bike. From wide open navigational hero to the ultra versatile shorter course XC racer, this is Quinn Cody's KTM. I'm Quinn Cody. Uh, we're out here in the desert riding my uh, rally bike. This is uh, this bike started out as a 2016 KTM 450 XCF. Uh, we modified it to have uh, the rally roadbook on the handlebars. Uh, basically, the roadbook reader accepts a paper scroll. You use that paper scroll to navigate through the stage. There's an ICO unit on top uh, that gives you your mileage and a rally comp. Rally Comp verifies your waypoints, uh, does all your timing and scoring, and also uh, gives you a cap heading. Basically the idea behind this bike was I wanted to make it as easily interchangeable so I could go back to the standard XCF uh, format so I could ride the bike at the, tr at the track, out in the desert, uh, single track, whatever I want to do. So I tried to make everything easily removable so within about an hour I could change it back to a standard XCF. First thing I did was put the four gallon IMS tank. This is a brand new tank from IMS. Um, it'll give you about 96 miles at race speed. Uh, well over 100 trail riding. We went ahead and put a fuel pump in this tank and, and that's dedicated to that tank. So you can, within five minutes, you can switch back to the stock tank. Um, the other thing that we had to address in rally racing is the high speeds. Uh, the XCF has a five-speed gearbox, so we had to change the gearing. Um, I was able to wedge in a 15-tooth sprocket on the front, so our final gearing is 1547. Uh, that makes your top speed uh, just over 100 miles an hour, which is, is pretty good for most rallies. Next thing we had to add a heavier flywheel and a rewound stator so we could power the roadbook, the headlight, and um, you know all the electronics. So we had to build a special wiring harness. It takes up a lot of space. Um, so we ended up using the Baja Designs S2 headlight with the uh, moto minded bracket. And what that does is it moves the headlight forward and it frees up a lot of space behind the headlight shell so that there's room for all that extra wiring and fuses and different things that you need to keep all your uh, your rally equipment running. Uh, suspension on this bike is uh, kind of a combination. Uh, on the front we have the, uh, the WP cone valve fork, which is really good. I have it set up extremely plush to be able to handle you know long distance rides. Um, it also has an adjustable preload so when I go back and forth between the stock XCF setup and the rally setup I can you know add and release preload to uh, kind of tune the bike. Um, the shock I have a uh, standard uh, WP shock that uh, was revalved for me by WP in-house um, and it's again set up extremely plush to uh, you know, suck up all the uh, all the junk that's kind of out in the, in the desert. So the engine I just kept completely stock uh, for the most reliability. Um, the only thing we really did to the engine was add an FMF exhaust and uh, it's got plenty of power to compete. So for the tires in the rear I used a Dunlop uh, 606 which is a DOT tire along with the Dunlop Moose gives you kind of maximum durability for the rally. In the front, I used a MX-81, which I prefer over most of the other Dunlops for desert style riding, and a boost in the front also. 